Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today I'm going to go back up my uh, system image on my Windows 8. I noticed they didn't come with any CD, so when I called ASUS, they said you need to back it up yourself. So basically what you do is you hover over the start over here in Windows 8, then you do a control panel. Let's make that nice and big. And there's a thing called file. Windows 7 file recovery. So just double click on that. This is on the control panel, by the way. So you hopefully you can find your control panel. Um, Windows 7, Windows 8. All right, so basically you click on this. Then it says like you want to create a system image or a repair disk. We're going to create a system image because just in case we got hit by a bad virus or something, uh, we want to be able to recover, even from a uh, bad drive that failed. You know, hardware doesn't last forever. So let's click on this. Remember, the more data you have, the longer it takes to back up. Now it's creating creating a uh, system image. Um, I have another hard drive. That's the good news, and that's my F drive, which I put into my computer. I have one terabyte drives here. You also go back up to DVD. This is the other option uh, directly. You just need to choose that. So you know. However, that takes a lot of different DVDs and it's never efficient. Uh, best if you get a uh, USB drive or something else that you could offload your image to. In this case, I'm lucky to have a um, another one terabyte drive, and it's still going to ask me to recreate a CD once I'm finished. So let's click on the, the F drive as my secondary drive and hit next. Okay, so the following will be backed up to the F drive. The F drive, and we have EFI, Windows System, Windows RE tools. Let's hit and start. And this will take a while. So you can go get your cup of tea or a cup of coffee or you know do something then come back after a while once it's ready then it's gonna ask for a DVD or CD in the system and that would be your boot up so it will boot up and look for the disk recovery if you ever need to restore um, so make sure you label that correctly and it's not gonna take a lot of uh, space if you back it up to a physical drive so the best thing to do, I suggest, is uh, not only have a file recovery set up, also is to RAID, you know, set up a RAID mirroring, RAID 1 at least, so you can mirror the, the disk. I'm sure there's a lot of other videos on YouTube that tells how to do that, but basically what you need is actually the RAID driver and your BIOS has to support it. Uh, the BIOS is definitely part of your uh, system so you know different vendors use different files so I'm not gonna go that in depth into it but at least that gives you an idea what to look for okay I'm gonna take it up in a few seconds uh, right now it looks like it's uh, proceeding with the the backing up to my uh, F drive okay this will take a while okay now we're at a point that basically is asking for a system repair disk and the backup is basically completed successfully to my F drive in my case. So give you a zoom in on the image. So now I'm gonna put a CD. All I need in my case is a CD to write to it. Okay, I'm gonna put a CD in the system. CDR, a CDR, not the RW one. Okay, yes. I'm going to click yes right here. It's going to hit my drive. I'm going to create disk. Okay, looks like my CD is created. And this is what's on the CD in particular. It's a repair disk. Windows 64 bit, Windows 8. And let's read the message here. You can use this system repair disk to access 
system recovery options that can help you recover from computer a series here and it's labeled the disk okay all done that's all to it we'll close this in fact we're booted in the disk already so this is a CD and uh, we have our repair disk I'm using the F drive as my uh, storage drive this is the second best thing I might do another experiment but that's another video so basically I at least made a repair disk that will boot up and go to my F drive then I can restore my image assuming my F drive doesn't die before this Okay, thanks for joining me today. Hopefully the video was helpful in creating a Windows 7 file recovery. And see you next time. Bye.